This is the Comscope reusable reel. There are three pins and one central column, including a sash line already installed. Pull the locking pin and pull the top plate off. Taking your easy access or fibre only drop cable, ensure that the connector side is facing the sash line. Before tying on your sash line, install the coil onto the reel ensuring for a nice tight snug fit. If it is too loose then you will have to readjust the pins. On the base plate there are three positions where you can make adjustments. They will allow for any coil between 262 diameter and 290. In most cases just adjusting one pin will suffice. Feed the sash line through the loop hole of the connector and tie a secure knot. When placing the coil onto the base, ensure that you turn, keeping the tension on the sash line and make sure that there is no slack at the connector. The top plate has a locking pin. It will click when deployed and also has a visual indicator. When installing the top plate, you may have to maneuver the three rods into the guides. Press down on the plate until you hear the click. Ensure the payout arrow on the dispenser and the drum is in the same direction. Lower the dispenser 2B over the reusable reel. Feed the tensioner column through the reel. Add tension to the reel the same as you would with the previous wooden drums. This should be hand tight with enough tension so that the cable does not fall across the road or sag. Lock the tension with the secondary wheel. The same functionality of a locking pin is included in the reusable wheel. Locate the first cable tie at the stub end and cut away. Continue to pull the cable off, cutting all the other cable ties as they come. Do not cut the last cable tie which is attached around the cardboard ring. Only cut this once you know that that is the last few turns whilst installing. Pull a couple of metres off the reel to ensure that it doesn't uncoil itself. Please run the cable off the back of the drum and not through the central eye as the stopper can sometimes get caught. Pull the coil until the stopper hits the pulley at the top of the pole. 